Hello friends, this is Bright here. Through this video, I am going to explain how to sleep a thread in Python. Let us see the various states involved in this. The moment we create a thread, we can say that its state is bound state. Then we have to change its state from bound to ready state by calling the start method and later when it enters into the processor we can say that its current status is running state where the run is a predefined method which we have to override which contains the necessary task to be carried out by that particular thread and there is a method called a sleep which temporarily suspends the execution of a particular thread a particular amount of time let us say that sleep 5 seconds, then for 5 seconds this thread will be in the sleeping state. And once its sleeping period is over, it will wake up and moves back to ready state. It doesn't go directly to running state. It goes to ready state first, then later when the processor is available, it will again go back to running state. Once all the instructions are executed by that particular thread, it moves to a state called dead. It means the thread is not existing now. Let me show the simple illustration. So, for coding illustration, I am using the PyCharm as my editor, and this is the current version which I am using it. So first from threading module I am importing the predefined class thread and I will be using a few method from the threading module so for that import threading. Now I am going to create a class some name let us say that my thread which is a subclass of thread and now I am going to overwrite the init method and here call its superclass constructor and pass self as argument this is very mandatory next I am going to overwrite the run method where run method contains the body for the thread or what are the particular jobs to be executed what are the instructions to be carried out by that particular thread that should be available in run method so here I am going to put a very simple job for i in range let us say 3 and I am going to display it print i with the current running thread name for that i am going to put plus threading dot current thread dot get name now there is a small problem here the data type of i is int and get name returns the name of the current running thread and its data type is str so i for integer here get name it gives str data type and int and str cannot be joined together by plus for that i am going to change the data type of i by using str of i otherwise when we run the program we will get trouble here Okay, so the run method is defined. The next line I'm going to put if name is equal to name let us say that print 
can say that the main thread is started and from the main threads we are going to create child threads create first child thread for that create an object for my thread let us say that t1 is the name of the object now I am going to create the second child thread create second child thread for that t2 equal to my thread and now we are going to change the status of t1 and t2 from born state to ready state change born state of t1 and t2 to ready state for that t1 dot start t2 dot start and we can see 0 thread 1, 1 thread 1, 2 thread 1 so thread 1 is the default name for first child thread thread 2 is the default name for second child thread now if we want to temporarily suspend the execution of a thread we can call the sleep method and here the run method is the body of the thread now after every display in for loop I am going to call sleep method we can say that sleep for one second for that I have to import a module called time now from the time module time dot sleep sleep for one second means say that time dot sleep now we can see that there is one second delay so first it is giving zero thread one zero thread two. after that one second delay you might have noticed then so once again I am going to run it the sequence may not be same every time can see 0 thread 1, 0 thread 2, 1 thread 2, 1 thread 1. And here this time you can see 1 thread 1, then 1 thread 2. The sequence may change. So it depends on the avail availability of resource in system. So this is how the sleep works. So let me go back to the presentation. So when we call sleep method, the running status of that thread will be changed to sleeping. And once it wake up from its sleep state, it means here we are mentioning one second. When that time period is over, it comes back to the ready state. Then when the processor is available, it will again come back to running state. Thank you for watching this.